You know what they say about the road to hell, that it is paved with good intentions. Well, the $26 million lead coal improvement project is very well intended. But business owners say it's been a road straight to hell for them. After 18 months and still months to go, News 13's Alex Goldsmith reports the area is a vast economic wasteland. They just became a ghost town. It's been tumbleweed city for, for the last couple of months. It's Friday afternoon near Lead and Yale, and it's quiet. Too quiet for custom piñata store Casa de Piñatas. Piñata. Luis Rodriguez's family has been in business at this spot for more than 15 years. But when the city closed down Lead last summer, things got tough. Since he came, broke down the street, it's just been, it's been hell. Be honest. It's just been, it's been bad. In that same strip mall, many businesses have simply given up. The doors at Step Into Style Boutique, Campus Corner Laundromat, and this mobile phone store are all shut. A block up the way at Lead and Cornell, it's just as bad. Padilla's automotive owner tells me it's effectively closed. Across the street, there are no more reservations to be had at the Saffron Cafe. And farm fresh produce closed down in October, even after the property owner offered to slash the rent in half a few months earlier. Graffiti isn't hard to spot in the two block area. It covers the abandoned storefronts, walls, and signposts. Mark Motzko with Albuquerque's Department of Municipal Development says he feels for the businesses hurt by construction, but the city has tried to help steer people their way. You know, ultimately it's unfortunate, but we were hoping that uh, with the blue access signs, with, with the access on the road during construction, that uh, people would continue to come down. Tell that to Katie Calico. She owns the Talking Fountain, an art gallery off lead a couple blocks from Washington. City signs point traffic to the gallery, but there isn't really a parking lot to drive into. Drivers can only get to the Talking Fountain by parking behind the store on a side street parking lot she doesn't own. Then customers have to walk through this back alley to find the front door. Calico blames that access for a lack of business, and now the Talking Fountain is only open online. I'm not keeping regular business hours anymore because it just, that wasn't, that wasn't working. Thank you. Meanwhile, Casa de Piñatas owner Francisco Rodriguez is hoping the construction ends before he has to close his shop, too. I don't know for how long we're going to keep going. In southeast Albuquerque, Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13. Moscow says the project should be completed by late spring or early summer. In the meantime, expect more closures. Tomorrow night, the northbound I-25 ramp at Lead and Coal will be closed from 9 at night until 5 in the morning. Wednesday night, it will be the southbound ramp there. Crews will be installing drainage pipes.